Marty Ledoux. I will be teaching you how to make black light collage posters. You've probably never heard of me. This is not what you do to get rich or famous, but it's something I enjoy and I hope you do too. Some of the supplies I use consist of poster paper, highlighters of various colors, black light paint, scissors, and glue. You can tear upwards, which creates that nice um, frayed edge, or you can tear downwards and the other side is a nice even edge. Now you can use this to your advantage because I am going to be doing a jellyfish and if you color the frayed edge it makes it glow in black light. Okay, when I start a new picture I start on three different parts of the picture. There's the background, like the, the sky, the clouds. Um, then there's the foreground, what you want your audience to see first, which in this one is the dinosaur and the butterfly. But then I also work on other environmental elements, such as the plant life, or up here the, the moon. If you work on the three different parts of the picture at the same time, you can complete the picture really quickly. All right, so the background, I am having black to make the uh, jellyfish stand out more. And on the corners, I did green paper and I tore the edges and highlighted them to make them stand out in black light. Then I made all these different sea urchin type shapes in different colors. Uh, hot pink, lime green, and hot orange. Uh, will glow in black light. I also made like a squid and a log that I'm going to have in there. So the secret to adding depth to your picture is to overlap things like the part of the background with part of the sea urchin. Also, like my log that I put in here, I'm going to have the octopus thing uh, kind of wrapping around it. Now for the background, uh, to give it more depth, I added two other pieces of green background paper. And it's really nice because you can also put the sea urchins and stuff kind of behind it to add more depth to it. It's really easy to add depth to collages because you can layer your papers. And you always want to have your smallest sea urchins at the top and then your bigger ones down here at the bottom. Okay, for the jellyfish, I put layers of paper for the head of it, and I also painted the dots to make it have a cool effect in black light. And under that, I cut out these long wavy pieces of paper and painted like DNA strand type design on them. Before you glue your picture together, you want to take your time to turn off the light and kind of look at the picture and how it will turn out. This is the only time, the last time, you'll uh, have to make changes to it. This is really important because if something doesn't look right when the lights are turned off, then it's going to be stuck like that. And a lot of times things look really good with the lights on that don't with the lights off. After I glue the majority of it down, I start painting like these. I also added lines. Painting is the best way to add detail to your collage. I stayed up till 3 o'clock last night cutting out um, enough sea urchins to make this really look busy. Uh, the more sea urchins you have, the, the busier the picture is. And you can see where I use paint and highlighters. The jellyfish tentacles I did over in blue, so you can still see the, the yellow paint behind it. And then also, coming out from the main uh, tentacles, I have all the, I painted on, um, to wrap around and down to the bottom of the picture. Throughout the picture I also added bubbles coming out of just the reef 
and it adds to the background of the picture. So I'm going to let the glue and paint dry for about a day before I frame it. The poster will match the frame which I pre-bought. It's better to pre-buy your frame so you know what size you're going for. And with the frame on the picture, it's ready to hang on the wall.